Hello Toots, welcome to Tector.com. Till now we have understood first normal form, second normal form and third normal form. Now this is time to study BCNF that is Boyce Code Normal Form. So what we are doing is we are just increasing the restrictions over relation and we are giving it a name of next higher level normal form. Like in first normal form there was only one restriction that the value should be atomic. In second normal form we added a restriction that all the non prime attributes should be functionally fully functionally dependent on each candidate key now for third normal form what do we do for third normal form we added few more one more restriction that there should not be any transitive relationship or dependency among non prime attributes okay now this is time when we will add more restriction over our relationship and we will call it as BCNF that is boys code normal form. So let's start with an example. Here in this example we have given set of functional dependencies and we have to determine whether the relationship is in BCNF. Okay. So before we go and find out whether it is BCNF or not we have to understand what is the condition for BCNF. So the condition is that it should satisfy all the conditions up to 3NF that is the relationship should be 3NF and the next restriction which we are increasing in this BCNF is for each functional dependency X determines Y this X should be a super key ok so this X should be a key now in this example if you find out which uh, we have studied up to 3NF so if you go and determine whether it is 3NF or not so this relationship is in 3NF already now we have to find out whether it is in BC BCNF so we will see that what is the key of this relationship so key is A and BC fine now if you see this functional dependency here A is a super key right because it can determine all the elements all the remaining attributes BC is also key D is not a key so this functional dependency is violating our condition so to find out with to convert it into BCNF we will break this and what will be the method of breaking as initial that we will keep D and B in separate table that is D determines B so this relationship will have D and B and here in this relationship we will have A B C or A C so we have two options here so let's say this is R2 this is R1 so we have two options one is we will keep here A let you see this way we will keep A, B, C or we can keep A, B, C. So as we already studied that in this functional dependency D can determine B. Fine. So here D is determining B. So D is a primary key. This primary key should be referred from the from this R1 relationship as foreign key. So this D should be here not B so this is correct this is wrong right so we have two relationship that is ACD and DB now ACD is in BCNF so what will be the functional dependency here it will be A determines DC and as B is gone so C determines AD so this will be the functional dependency in R1 and this is in BCNF. If you, if you go and find out this will A and C will be candidate key and as the determinant of the both functional dependency is a key this is BCNF. Now let's solve a problem on this in the illustration section to mo get more clarity on this. So I hope this is clear till now. Thanks for watching.